Hey, Luke. How's your week going, buddy? So. <clears throat> um. Yesterday. That started doing all the stuff, show and everything. And uh, we were getting ready. We were less than an. I, I would have gotten you because it was so close. But I was like, also, nah, you don't just grab somebody. We were about an hour away or, or less than uh-huh. from doing. Tara and I were about doing the bit yesterday. And. Fire. An electrical pole just down the street from her burst into fucking flame. And the power went out. And it stayed out until 3 a.m. Why was Tara climbing fire uh, electrical poles that that late at night? <laughs> that was not. That's not. No. Hope you're doing okay, Tara. It's likely a, <laughs> it, the the problem is it was likely a goddamn squirrel or something. Mm. Which you know that's unfortunate, but well, yeah, that's what they do because they're not bright. They are in fact squirrels. They're a little nuts. There, that was my terror pun. I nailed it. God damn it. Nailed it. Also, this dog right here hopes that your week gets better. And by that, I mean he's just laying there sleepily, ready to go to bed. Mm. I see. Hello, dog. He's mm-hmm. He blends into the background, like, completely. I, he does. I sort of, yeah. Like, because he has a lot of white fur on him, but the black, when he lays on this black rug I hear, like, you cannot see him on camera. Well... Tara was unfortunately unavailable tonight because, you know, she had other stuff to do. Mm-hmm. But thankfully, you were here. You were. I asked you last night. We gave you time. Yes. So thank you. You're here. I appreciate it so Happy much. Happy to help. Of course. Also, you may notice there's been some renovations a little bit. Uh, I have. Yes. I. Uh, uh, an update to setting and scenery is always nice every once in a while. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I play with some buttons. It's, it's still kind of goofy tonight but it's working overall okay um, like some people are going to hear this and when, when, when we do the recording and when, when they see it on youtube they're gonna be like what um for all these years consistently since i started doing hmm. video on the stream um i've been using wirecast up until okay. today um because it, it was a point way back when it was like, God damn it. I paid for this. I paid a lot yeah. of money for this. I'm going to keep using it. But as time went on, OBS got better and better. And Wirecast got every, every few weeks, there was a new gigantic pain in my butt. Like trying to drag a window across the screen while I was live. It was like, mm. now everything. So I, I've, finally readjusted moved everything over we're on obs studio right now and i think so much better it is obs takes a while to set up you have to get everything right in perfect spot like that initial time but once it's there it's rock solid uh, that's yeah. what i've always been telling people so and th- this actually down here at the bottom is kind of a placeholder because i was messing with mm-hmm. it today i need to to figure out how to do it but i'm gonna like have this bit animated and swing out and then new stuff come in like here's the blue sky address and then here's the discord gotcha. and here's that that so yeah but this is all i could put on right now but it's gonna That's look fine. more interesting i promise i promise i'm working on it work in progress it doesn't have, there's no set dates that all, all has to be done by so yes so anyway thank you for being in here we've got terrible shit absolutely we almost had shit Ooh. we almost had shit so your sales pitch really needs some work there, Nash. You, you really got to work on how to lead in and make the customer, me, feel a little more welcome than leading into that. We almost had shit. We do not have shit. <laughs> there, there was a... Welcome to Best Buy. <laughs> just just to, 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 to give you an idea of where we are this week that didn't make the cut, there's a story uh-huh. about a bear who got into somebody's car and just filled it with shit. Um, and that didn't make the cut this week so i do not blame the bear because it's a bear it isn't it's does a bear crap in the woods depends where you parked your car so okay so all right so let's get this going get the intro rolling tmi machine each week captain 
Radio Dead Arrow at Spill on the World Wide Interweb. Slide all sorts of cool stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm going to have to discuss. It's, it's work in progress. But hey, it looks neat moving around and shit. I think I'm so. All right. Um, where are we beginning this week? Oh, we're beginning with McDonald's. Now, normally I do. Delicious. <laughs> Normally, I, I don't do one of these stories unless they've caught somebody. But okay. perhaps we can help justice be served. Um, yeah, sure. That, that, that's, what, that's the excuse I'm going with. All righty here. Let's see what the thing is over here. Uh, not loving it. Indy police say naked woman threw bricks through McDonald's window. The nuggets aren't that good. Jeez, lady. Employees at Eastside McDonald's told police a naked woman jumped out of a car and threw two bricks through the West restaurant's window before speeding off. This lady off. had a mission. This is like a GTA level in Indianapolis. <laughs> maybe, like, I don't know if it was a level, but maybe it was like an achievement, you know? Oh, yeah. Just trying yeah. to unlock with those. Just, yeah. Go streaking, break into McDonald's, get the nuggets, get back while the car's still running. Yeah, that's that's it. That's how that works. Um, according to Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department, officers were called to McDonald's uh, around noon on Friday on report of vandalism. The police told uh, responding officers that a nude woman leapt out of a white car with two bricks in her hands and chucked the masonry through two large windows. Damage the restaurant it's windows. No, I know. I'm just saying. What if you're going to get that the damage estimate? That's brutal. Fifteen thousand dollars. Plate glass is not cheap. And that like, makes me wonder how hard was she throwing these bricks? You can't. Those brick. Those glass is not like something you can just chuck something no. at. It might just bounce off or chip a little. After throwing the man, this was one powerful naked woman. <laughs> Yikes. After throwing the bricks, the suspect reportedly jumped back in the white car, which drove away from the popular fast, fast food chain. Police did not have a detailed description of the vehicle the suspect fled in. Police were too distracted by the sudden buck naked act committed in the blinding light of high noon. I cannot blame the patrons of McDonald's for not getting the license plate. Uh, uh, do, do, you, do you know what Jeez, kind of... Uh, lady. What, what kind of car it was? Did, did you see anything? It was a naked lady with bricks. What the fuck do you mean? What she, kind of car it she was? She was angry. She had a, she had ammunition and bricks, and that's it. And she she showed up determined to do some shit. I like, hope that McDonald's at least had some type of surveillance camera. Not every McDonald's does. I know that they're all independent franchises, but man, oh man, if that if they did have. Even a black and white surveillance with no audio, that is TikTok gold. That McDonald's <laughs> is going to make money online. Ugh, just, okay, why? Why? Uh, yeah, why? All right, we're going to start with why. What? what? I agree. I agree. They're, like, because, pardon me for being presumptuous, this sounds like meth, but a little bit. I don't know. A little bit. Yeah. So I'll leave that out of it. This was not Florida. Mm. However, why naked only having bricks meaning you had to put the bricks in your car and drove to the mcdonald's bricks are not a common thing you carry in your automobile did you ever see die hard three years ago on tv years that bit ago. where sam where, where where john mcclain has to go into uh harlem with like a racist sign on and if he does yes, it yes, they're gonna blow up a, outside like yeah if they don't they're gonna blow up a school Maybe it was yes. that. Maybe, maybe she's yeah. maybe she's saving us. To be fair, that is safer than doing what John McClane uh, did in that's that movie. True. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but I do wonder what she feels she achieved. Like, was this a former employee, or did they not give her a large fry? They only gave her a small, uh, and she came back with vengeance. Give me my large fry, <laughs> you know. Oh, <sighs> poor lady, poor Andy McDonald's. Philly is next and fuck this lady. Fuck her. Fuck. Just fuck. All right. When we had the height of the human malware and they had the uh, the PPP loans, they were given out to businesses just to keep everything going. Because and those, yeah. those were a terrible idea, by the way. But still. And everybody applied for them. And there was a, a city 
in Georgia that applied for them, Weston, Georgia. Presumably because they needed it. Mm -hmm. Um, well, this lady decided she needed it just a little bit more for her butt. Philly woman allegedly used a stolen $184,000 COVID relief check to pay for butt lift spending spree. Philadelphia woman is facing felony charges in Florida after investigators say she stole a COVID-19 relief check and went on a spending spree before she got caught. Court documents obtained by WPLG said Ashley Stibbins Parker created a, this is actually a little smart, City of Weston LLC bank account in Georgia so she could deposit the funds back in 2021. A $184,000 check was issued on February 12, 2021 by the Broward County Board of County Commissioners and was lady ma later mailed to Weston City Hall. Uh, the money was allocated through the Federal CARES Act, but authorities say the check never made it there. The money was deposited on March 15th into a Bank of America account in Sandy Springs, Georgia, under the name of City of Weston LLC. Account opened up on March 12th, 2021. Days before the funds were deposited, Stibbins Parker is accused of filing a fraudulent certificate of organization within the state of City for in the state of Georgia for City of Weston LLC. The address on the account was the legal address of the Weston City Hall in Florida. Uh, documents say Stibbins Parker is listed as a registered agent and organizer. Before investigators caught on to the steam, Stevens Parker is accused of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars using cashier's checks, cash withdrawals, Zelle debits, and MasterCard tied to the fraudulent account. Um, on March 30th, 2021, she allegedly spent $6,250 on a Brazilian butt lift at a Miramar Plastic Surgery Center in Broward County using stolen funds. Police say she also went on several plane trips, booked hotel rooms, went on a luxury shopping spree, and spent thousands of dollars. Uh, to seven pe several people, sent thousand dollars to several people named in the arrest warrant. Or in court documents, estimated loss to Bank of America was one hundred thirty-one thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars and twenty-two cents. I don't know why they had to put the twenty-two cents on there. Those don't matter. Um, you ever see Superman four? Those don't matter. The cents on the yeah, those don't matter. Um, remains unclear how Stevens Parker got her hands on the checks, or if anyone else is facing charges in connection with the scheme. So the first part was actually really clever. The check said City of Weston. So all she had to do was set up a legal, functional LLC for City of Weston. you can do online for free. City of Weston. That's it. That's all it took. And she went and cashed it. It's like, that's the moment you go away. You, you pick a place without an extradition treaty, and you live well for the rest of your life. You won. 200 grand? There are places in this world you are a king. You fucking won. There are first world countries in this, uh, on this planet where you're a king with that type of money up front. A check. A One check. check for $184,000. I have several thoughts about this one. Like you talked about the LLC. This woman thought a lot of creative things out that were not going to be checked until years later, and the government was not going to follow up until at least after the next tax year. Yeah. But she could not stop herself after she realized she got away with the Brazilian butt lift, which she gets to keep. Yeah, I mean, they can't. Not take, they, they cannot take that away legally. They cannot. They, they can't. They can't. You, 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 they can't take your I, ass. I, I'm sure there's a lot of jokes that we're all thinking right now. No, I got to get it, get, get it back. Okay. No, yes. It was, it was Superman three, not super. That's what y'all focus on. It was Superman three, not Superman four. Fine. The bad Superman movies there. Goodness. But still also I, for one am, and I know this is me. Hmm. Bank America is awful. Oh yeah. Fuck. They suck. Fuck. The fact that this is the bank that did that makes total sense to me. Mm -hmm. And them losing this amount of money is nothing to them. So fine. But going back to the PPP, those loans that were meant for people yeah. that really needed them at that time of need in 2021 and 2020, um, the reason why it didn't go to the appropriate places because so many wealthy people or successful people that did not need them swooped in and got them like that, no questions asked. Literally, the steps she took, she did not have to leave her computer. She yeah. could do it all online, and she lived like a queen for how long? Uh, since, uh, 
This is March Luxury 2021. shopping spree, several plane trips, set thousands of dollars to several people named in the West Florence. Oh, goodness. No, so you, she's dragging more people with her. You give me 200 grand, I dis the fuck appear. That's how you do it. You, you give you me just, 100 grand, and I'm thinking, okay, I have to stay quiet for years now, not make a peep. Right? Brazilian butt lifted luxury shopping. Oh, goodness, you, you, no. You, you took the money and you put it in your ass. Uh, uh, yes, right, directly. There's never been a more literal statement that oh. sounds uh, metaphorical. Lady Minshaw says, will the court seize her assets? Oh, if you had the foghorn sound effects, you would have earned it. That's, you, that's, <laughs> Your honor, seize the assets. That's, oh, that's, oh, oh. And there's a doctor in the courtroom. He just walks up. All right, lady. <laughs> you knew this was coming. Also, by the way, her mugshot kind of looks like, well, I got caught. Yeah, it's just sort of like, yep. Uh, at least I got my Brazilian booty. Yeah, you no one's taking that away from me. It's like, folks, don't, you, you don't just sort of, you don't, you go away. Yeah. Like, fuck's sake. You were either in Philly or, and you claimed you were in Florida. Both places, not a lot of people, a lot of people want to leave anyway. Even if to leave the country you could have gone somewhere to a small town that no one would have found you at like has no one watched fargo does no one watch movies to see what you do what not to do with crime i mean it's very simple <laughs> all several plane trips and booked hotels where you have to put your name and credit card and all this other information in man just the fact though the bank of america was stupid enough to send that big of a check to someone if you have to travel you go on fucking Craigslist or Facebook and you buy a car for cash. Yeah. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You don't need to know By this. Way, she had the money to buy a nice car and do that. Yeah. Oh, really nice one if she wanted. It had money left over. Nah. Uh, so this next one. Awful. <sighs> this next one, they claim... This is scientists. They claim it's for one thing, but it's very clear it's for something else. And we is all know. Is someone misusing science again? Oh, God, yes. We all know what this is oh. actually for. We all know what this research is going to contribute to. We all know what they're really trying to do. Don't pretend. Did Don't... some poor grad student get his research used in a very inappropriate way? I mean. Oh, no. Faces made of living skin make robots smile. Oh. Japanese, of course, it's Japan. <laughs> Japan have the sex toy dispenser machines. J Japanese scientists have found a way to attach living skin to robot faces for more realistic smiles and other facial expressions. Now, in I'm Japan, sorry. they have seen people, correct? I'm assuming they've seen a person. The breakthrough, one. The big breakthrough came from copying tissue structures in people. Prototypes appear to be maybe more Haribo than human-like. That but, is a line right there. More Haribo than human. But the Ugh. researchers say it paves the way for making convincing, realistic, moving humanoids with self-healing skin that will not easily rip or tear. All right. The well, first picture is terrible. What? The first picture is terrible. The second is even worse. That's fuck. Oh, that is cool. fucking Silence of the Lambs. That is fucking Silence of the fucking Lambs. That's Hannibal Lecter tearing a guy's face off. That's fucking what the fuck. It's Hannibal Lecter makes Man in the Iron Mask like you could see another face behind it. Uh, uh, uh. The artificial skin also, is. Hmm? Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Artificial skin is made in the lab using living cells. Not only is it soft like real skin, but it can repair itself if cut. Past attempts to attach it proved difficult, though. The team tried using mini hooks as anchors, but those damaged the skins. In people, the skin is tethered to underlying structures by ligaments, tiny ropes of flexible collagen and elastin. To recreate that, researchers drilled lots of little holes in the robot and applied a gel containing collagen and then the layer of artificial skin on top. I. I this is not for like they're like well it's it, the robot can heal itself 
and can have convincing uh-huh. facial expression. You want to fuck it. And you want to do it so badly that it might rip the skin and you don't have to repair it yourself. That is horrifying. Can you fuck it? <laughs> Every um, fucking we're, time. we're trying to create something for skin grafts that actually have robots with AI to actually have humanistic qualities. Sir, I don't think that's an appropriate press win for this press hearing. Like, like the, 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 this one, the, like the, this, this is entirely. Nobody looked at this and said, uh, "We're we're we have to." It's 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 a, a living skin over a metal endoskeleton. I don't know the science. Only living things can go back. But <laughs> still, this this was about someone. They, they, this is like, yeah, they. I- I can't think of any situation that was altruistic where they were trying to make us like make this. Mm-mm. I cannot think of one that the creator, the scientist, whatever it is, thought this will help humanity. I'm doing something for the world. Like I'm just rolling no. through my head all of the different the, the different oh, your eyes. I made your eyes. I'm just all of the different references are just rolling right through my brain right now. I'm thinking more like the scientists like I made your skin, Cybot 5000. Can you feel this now? Oh, and that's the least creepy of the situations. All these moments oh. will vanish like tears in the hentai. <laughs> anyway. The Blade Runner 2099, and this is the third one. Oh, no. God damn. All right, next up, um, Lady... I've gotten to a point, and I think a lot of us in America, we are very hesitant of the cops for a good reason. Yes. For a lot of reasons. I am at a point where I'm like, I am loath to call the cops on anyone ever because the outcomes are not good. So this right. lady, mm-mm, mm-mm. honey, no, 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 no. Woman with cold feet makes false 911 call to avoid date. A man who showed 911? Man who showed up at an Iowa home of a woman he met on a dating app was detained by police after she got cold feet and called 911, making false accusations, including that he was a domestic abuser and she was pregnant with his baby. To get out of going out with him. Samaya Thomas, 18, faces a misdemeanor charge of making a false report. Uh, please, more than a misdemeanor. The, police, the case came to light uh, when Thomas called the police saying her abusive ex-boyfriend was outside her home. Uh, he was sending her threatening texts saying he was going to, quote, hit, punch, kick, and stab her. She also said she had known the man for two years and he wouldn't leave her alone and she was pregnant with his baby. Uh, court documents said when the police responded to the home, they found the man in question as he was leaving. He told police he started to speak with her a week earlier on a dating app before they began texting. And he verified the information by showing police the text messages, which is that's, that's the stupid part of this. He's got a paper trail and you don't because you made shit up. Also, was she pregnant? No. So that's also easily verifiable. Yeah. Uh, investigators also spoke with Thomas after repeated questioning. She finally admitted making up a false report because she quote got cold feet. She told investigators she didn't think the police would help otherwise and made up the story in a nine one one call, saying she police police wouldn't have done anything if she had just called normally. That's not the police's job to get you out of a date with someone you met online. Now, I don't know what this guy did. I don't know what he might have said or how he might have come off. But he was leaving. He took the fucking hit. He left. Yeah. You escalated this to fucking 11. To an exponential level. There's a just. series of felonies involved with this that what you just did. Like th- this, this could like the cops are not going to help you with this. No. Now, now did he? D- there's nothing in here. Listen, he did anything that warranted the police. Maybe he made her uncomfortable. Maybe he said sure. something. But the minute you make shit up, now you're in trouble. 
because that's you're not you can't just wildly making stuff up too that's the thing stuff that yeah. can be easily verified that's the other thing too even if she would have lied and said he's threatening me i don't know what to do i'm scared even that yeah. would have gotten a response not but the, claiming the, she's pregnant and she uh, uh, just it this could have turned so badly this could have gone in a completely yes. different we wouldn't be talking about this story if it had gone in the other fucking way. Right. Like, geez, yeah, what's your emergency? I don't want to go on a date with someone. That, yeah, I'm not putting it past him to just be like a fucking creep. That, that's fair. Sure. But now you're in, but now you went to jail. This is almost delusional levels of um, trying to deny your situation and try to get out of a situation like that. It's crazy. Also, I'm just thinking, because it says obtained by law and crime, he might have a case for um, to, what is it called? Defamation. Defamation of character and things like that. If that gets out, yeah, I don't know how she would deny it. Well, speaking of defamation so, of character, oh my god, <laughs> what a um, segue! We keep having politicians lately who don't seem like they should be getting elected, and yet somehow. They keep getting elected. Now, I don't like to wade into the politics too much, but sometimes it kind of crosses our desk. This is not a matter of entirely a matter of, of their, their policy stances or, or even their personal lives. Well, a little bit. Um, this is because um, someone's throwing spiders. Uh, Marissa Simonetti loses Republican endorsement after tarantula toss. Marissa Simonetti did not have the endorsement or a recommendation of the 3rd Congressional District Republican Party in her bid for Hennepin County Commissioner. The dropped endorsement comes after Simonetti was arrested in Adena and charged with misdemeanor assault after an alleged argument with her housemate that included the toss of a tarantula down a set of stairs. I feel bad for the tarantula in this situation. Yes. The tarantula's probably fine, yes. but terrified and... What? Simonetti says she rented space to a local attorney, Jackie Vasquez, who needed a quiet place to study for the California bar exam. However, the arrangement fell apart in less than three weeks. Okay, I've had a bad roommate before. I think everybody sure. kind of has, you know. In the five-bedroom home, Simonetti was living upstairs and Vasquez was staying on the lower level. There are questions about whether Simonetti should have been renting out the space since she's not the homeowner. The dispute, oh. the dispute apparently started because Vasquez was complaining of a spider infestation. Simonetti said the complaints were nonstop, finally asking Vasquez to leave, but she wouldn't. She claimed Vasquez then sent harassing messages. Vasquez started recording video, and Simonetti blasted loud Christian music, banged pots and pans, and screamed. He was trying to exercise all that bad karma. Uh, perhaps I should have invited her up for tea and crumpets, Simonetti said. That's oh, this lady sucks. Yeah, this that, lady sucks. We all know this lady. We all know immediately. We all know this lady. Yep. The confrontation included Simonetti tossing a tarantula and various others down the items down the stairs. A move she said was an ode to the movie Home Alone. What? You relied on Kevin McAllister after blasting Christian music to deal with your roommate studying for the bar exam, and you're trying to get yourself nominated for a Republican seat. Quote, I mean, there's an element of humor to that movie, and at the end, what was I supposed to do? Have you ever seen those Home Alone bits of where, where the booby traps and everything, only someone re-edited them? with the real consequences of the booby traps. Yes, like the permanent brain damage and broken limbs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, just, mm, what were you supposed to do? I don't know, not throw spiders. That's I'm just thinking because animal cruelty is like that, but also, depending on what items she threw, if that would have actually hit the other roommate, that could be assault. And Poor I spider! Just, I feel like, I, I know. I feel like her response is her two responses show that she does not feel sorry about anything. She does not understand repercussions and she refuses to apologize and she does not care. 
Vasquez she says no. Vasquez says she wasn't a squatter and paid fifteen hundred dollars to stay there. Jesus. Simon Eddie confirmed Vasquez did pay, but then talked in circles when questioned regarding who owns the home. The the fucking audacity, <laughs> the utter goddamn audacity. We've got this whole set of people who feel like they can do anything if they're just yes. brass brash enough to ignore consequences like throwing a spider charging $1,500 rent to someone else and you don't even own the place boy does that set off red flags too so either she owned a tarantula or she went out to a local pet store and purchased a tarantula they are not cheap no. And brought it home to throw it at the roommate she was having trouble with. Considering she had already tried the whole blasting Christian music and banging pots and pans to get up, get her roommate upset and to leave, I would not put this past her. This, it keeps escalating, you know? Again, she does not understand repercussions. This is the type of woman who does not understand how and she cannot get her way. She Fucking will always get what hell. she wants. Who throws a tarantula, honestly? Finally, this week, let's we just go with, with conve- something very conventional. When this, uh, years ago, and someone could probably go back if they're crazy enough to the archives and find when I talked about this. I swore years ago, this would be the inevitable outcome of drone delivery in America. Okay. I always knew that buzzing these little robots over the homes of people who live in the middle of nowhere because they hate people yes. would have terrible consequences. Well, maybe I can already see where that's going. Maybe I can not already see where it's going. Maybe not terrible, but Jesus. And I got to say, this guy's got the kind of haircut and an outfit that says, yeah, I did this. Florida man, man accused of shooting delivery, Walmart delivery drone. Dennis Wynn, 72, faces firearm criminal mischief charges. Just that, that is exactly the look of a guy who would go in the house, grab a shotgun, come out and blast the fucking drone down. Old man shoots cloud. Not old man yells at cloud. Old man shoots at cloud. And also, what? Do you think he was just looking for that opportunity? Like he was finally looking for that <laughs> chance to pull out his gun and start shooting something? Quite often, yes, because once you have it. Yeah. Once you get that toy, what, like gun lovers, especially, once you get that shiny new toy, you don't want to just sit it there. You don't, you want to show it off. You want to use it. Man arrested Wednesday in Lake County is accused of rendering thousands of dollars in damage to a drone that he shot as it attempted to make a delivery for Walmart. Dennis Wynn, 72, faces charges. Charges of shooting or throwing a deadly missile into dwellings, vessels, or vehicles, criminal mischief above $1,000, and discharging a firearm in public or residential property. Walmart in 2022 uh, announced it was rolling out drone deliveries in Florida via DroneUp, a Virginia-based commercial drone services company that partnered with the supermarket giant in 2021. According to Wynn's arrest affidavit, a two-man DroneUp crew was at a delivery point in the Overlook uh, neighborhood when the shooting occurred. The document noted the crew was there campaigning for drone up, which in this case was uh, to include a proof of concept mock delivery to their location. The drone was around 230 feet in the air when it arrived, descended to around 75 feet when one of the crew members heard what they thought was a gunshot. Both the crew and the drone raced back to the Walmart where deputies responded about 6 p.m. and the crew members reportedly found a bullet hole in the drone's payload system. Yes. Shooting incurred some $2,500 in damage to the drone. The crew noting business operations be impacted when it was booked later that evening and released Thursday. <sighs> okay. <laughs> How was this going to work out well for you? <laughs> what? I just love. He allegedly said he used a nine millimeter handgun to shoot a drone that flew over his house. He was working on his pool pump. Why do you need to have a carried conceal while you're cleaning your pool, sir? Why did you need the gun on you and the holster on you while you were doing that? That's when the werewolves get you. 
Oh, they, they sneak up on you. That's where they get you. Apparently. Oh, man. Also, Lake County, that's like north of Orlando, south of Gainesville, where there's a lot of highway, yeah. elderly people, and nothing. Yeah. There, there's, there's, there's quite a bit of nothing in Florida. There's a whole middle of the whole middle of the state is nothing by law. It's, yes. it's, it's a swamp. It's a wetlands. Yes. 230 feet in the air. Hi, Bozo. Can I help you? Hello, buddy. Can we I... will not have any Walmart drones after you because now we know what danger that preludes to. Can I help you? Goodness. Is, is there something wrong? Do, do we need assistance? Can I, okay. Also, but, I, I don't I don't care for Walmart. I never never liked Walmart. Even I'm like, what the heck are you shooting at a Walmart item for? Walmart drone. Also, whoever got that delivery is gonna be real mad. They didn't get their item. Nope. Mm -mm. Hi, buddy. Can I can I help you? I'd like to take this time while Nash is preoccupied too far away for the mic to stop me. Please subscribe to Rocked on YouTube, R-O-C-K-E-D. We have some of the greatest cops. We have a lot of coverage of rock, metal, alternative, and everything in between. We have live streams of podcasts and new videos up several times a week. Please check it out. Thank you. Oh. Anyway, back to old man shooting a cloud. Uh, I also, this also screams like the guy who's retired, had barely goes out once, leaves the house once a month maximum, and now he's going to jail. And now yep. he has to explain to his wife and the court and a judge why he did what he did. Dennis, what were you doing out there? Why were you shooting stuff in the backyard again? You know his, you know, if this man is married, his wife is, as they say, long suffering. Yes. Oh yeah. This is not the first time she's had to deal with Dennis's shenanigans. Like it's, it's like she, she just, you know, she's been listening to the radio. She heard that Sabrina Carpenter tune, please, please, please. And she's like, yep. Finally, yep. an artist that gets me. Yeah. <laughs> $13,000 bond. I hope that was worth it. I hope this whole situation was worth it, Dennis. You're 72 and you still don't know better, Dennis. Hello. Can I help you? Can, can, I, can I? Is, is, is there Dennis any... the septuagenarian menace. Is there, is there anything I can do for you, little man? Are you, is this stuff? I'm glad we have something wholesome on Radio Dead Air. Oftentimes, the stories get so bogged down with terrible people that we need a moment to re understand that reality can be nice and charming and comforting. Hi, bud. What do we do? I so, say as my pupper right here is changed positions but still passed out. He is ready for bed. So what have we learned this week? We've learned you can't just shoot at anything you want to. I know I've that people in Florida carry a gun on them just to clean their pool. Alligators, 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 alligators. Uh, they teach you how to zigzag in schools in Florida. <laughs> so then again, you'd probably rather shoot something than zigzag. So that's why that's why we learned if, if your if your solution to a roommate dispute involves throwing arachnids. You have a problem. Thank you. God, she's not going to be in charge of anything in politics. I don't know. She, she could not she, get the nomination. No, she's getting the endorsement. She could still get elected. She could absolutely still get elected. Uh, yep. uh, aren't you the lady that banged pots and pans and threw a spider at your roommate that you were charging way too much at a place you didn't even own? I care for the people. Oh, okay. All right. Hi, buddy. Oh, Grady. <laughs> We've learned if a date looks like it's going to turn out bad, the police are not going to help you. Once again, 911 is not customer service. No, and there were so many other creative alternatives you could have done to get out of that date. So many other options that did not involve a, an emergency call. Yeah, because now you're going to jail. Good, good yeah. job. Well done. Hello, 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 monkey. Hello, hello. What are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, little buddy. That's what, yes, that is my finger. You don't, don't want a robot with human skin, do you, little buddy? You yeah. don't want that. No. That, that's that's the next thing we, we learned this week. Um, <laughs> sometimes when scientists say one thing, they mean another, which involves their penis. We want to create a robotic kitty litter cleaner 
that has human skin to look like a person. Wouldn't the cats love that? No. No, it's 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 it's, it's, it's just get a real doll. And somehow that's God still not as creepy as what it will be used for. We learned if you steal a relief check from Bank of America, run. That you won, yeah. get out. Go. She's clearly smart enough to understand the ins and outs of a business and a system, all the things she could have done with her life, and this is it. Like, 100 k that is three or four years of your bills, wherever you, you throw the other 100 k into the stock market, you just let that accrue, you're fine. Yep. Yeah. Like, God damn. Nope. Nope. She decided to live large. And finally, and we that's learned... not and not including her butt. Sorry, that was bad. Go ahead. And finally, we learned that sometimes... At a McDonald's, naked people will throw bricks through the window. That's it's just, just the making of a new superhero. I, I, I don't know why. Like, this is the origin story of some type of character. I was, before my mean streak, I was sprinting and streaking through McDonald's parking lot, throwing bricks at the windows. Then I turned myself over, and now, look at me now. The bricklayer. You, you, why do you always pick the times? that I'm doing these things to come over and be like, now. Uh, sounds like he's in the business. He knows how to, when to make a walk on. Like I sit here for, I, I work at my desk for age, hours and hours and hours. He could come over here and hang out anytime he wants. But when mm -hmm. I'm actually trying to do stuff, that's when he comes over. That's when oh, he decides. Dad's yelling about a streaker at McDonald's. Better go calm him down. That's what it was. 